Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Smith's adjustable pull-through knife sharpener. For the folks who have been following my channel for a very long time know that I like Smith's sharpening products. And one of the products that I really, really like are these little pocket pals. I've even given away some. Um, for the most part, they sharpen most knives really, really good. I mean, really good. But there is one inherent flaw in this particular design, and it's a flaw that exists with all pull-through sharpeners, such as this Pocket Pal, and that is that the angle is not adjustable. So for the Pocket Pal, just so you don't have to look it up yourself. The angle is 22.5 degrees. So, you know, if you have a knife with a wider angle than that, it's not going to sharpen in this. And maybe that's why some people um, who use this say that the thing doesn't sharpen at all. And that might be because they're, they're you know, putting in maybe a big K bar or something like that in there where the, the angle is, it needs to be wider. You know what I mean? It needs to be greater. So that's the problem with this particular sharpener, although I love it. I, I really do like this sharpener. So anyway, that's where this guy comes in. The big thing about this is there's a dial on here, and you could dial in anywhere between 14 and 24 degrees. You know, so it... It, it gives you that ability but, but to switch between 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24 degrees. It also can handle serrated edges right here in this middle one, which doesn't adjust. And then you have your coarse and your fine. So this is like a carbide, and this is ceramic rods basically in there that you pull the knife through. And those are what actually change the angle as you move this knob. And... Um, well, let's stop talking about the packaging and we'll go ahead and open this up and take a close look. If you notice, I have a, a different background here. I'm hoping that this keeps the camera from defocusing and refocusing all the time, like uh, like some of my past videos, which I, I know is very irritating, so I'm hoping that fixes that. Anyway, getting back to the product here, on the back, which you couldn't see while it was in the packaging, is a listing where it shows the common sharpening angles. So you have fillet knives at 16% and, and Asian style knives at 16%. You have the Euro and American style kitchen knives are at 20%, your pocket knives at 20%, hunting knives at 22, tactical knives at 22. So they sort of give you a, a little cheat sheet, but if you want to, you know, properly sharpen whatever knife you're you know you're ready to put through this if you want it to be perfect you should go to the manufacturer's website of the knife and look up what the angle is now if you want to change the angle what you're supposed to do is press down on this and then turn it so let me show you what the the angles look like as you're turning it I'm gonna go ahead and try to get I'll go ahead and bring this one in and we'll go ahead and you can see that change see that and if you notice again, the serrated um, notch here does not adjust. So for, uh, let's see, tactical, I think it said 20 degrees, right? Hunting, actually for tactical it says 22. I'm going to go with uh, 20. Now again, this thing does about 22.5. So we'll go with 20. And I'm looking for a knife that needs sharpening. So I'm going to bring out again my everyday carry knife, my Cold Steel American Lawman. And I think I've run it through my Pocket Pal quite a few times, so I probably got it close to that um, 22. <laughs> so um, we'll go ahead and go with that. Now if you notice, there's some arrows. You can see it right there, arrow tells you which way you should be pulling it through so I have nice rubberized handle here where you can hold it it also has some rubberized feet on it which keeps it pretty steady 
and we'll just pull this through. Now it says to do this about 10 times. So we'll go ahead and follow the instructions and see how it goes. Oh, I could tell this feels terrible. And, you know, I use this knife at work. And I probably cut things I shouldn't be cutting with a knife, a lot of steel wiring. Wow, it feels terrible. You could, you could hear all the, uh, I must have took some serious uh, <laughs> pieces out of this blade. It might need more than 10. But what this, this course does is it basically uh, straightens out that freaking edge. And then the, uh, the ceramic ones will sort of polish that edge up. Okay, I, I wasn't counting because I was too busy talking. But I'm sure I did this at least 10 times. So now I'll go over to the ceramic and do the same thing. Probably about 3 or 4 times is what the instructions say starting to feel really nice now one other thing you should do while you're using this is you know you might st in the carbide side you start out maybe giving it a little, like a little bit of pressure and then as you're finishing it up so to try to lighten it up you know so start with a little, you know a little pushing just a teeny little bit down while you pull it through and then sort of lighten it up where it's just the weight of the knife so Try to finish that up. Let's see if I could shave with this or not. I have a, I'm a hairy kind of guy, so I could, I can uh, do a lot of tests. And you can see uh, there's hair on my knife. Now the, the stones and the carbide, um, the ceramic and the carbide, you could replace these. You could open this up. There's like a slit right here that you could just uh, pry open. We could go ahead and take a look while we're we're here. Let me see if I could. Yep. Let's see what. There we go. Nice and good. Whoops. And there goes the knob. <laughs> so you can see what it looks like. So you could unscrew these covers and and change these stones if you'd like. If they start um not working anymore. I'm kicking around this table like mad. Whoa. Sorry guys. So we'll go ahead and put this back on here. And this is sort of keyed, so you can't put this on the wrong way. So it was set at 22, which is correct. Go ahead and continue sharpening this. Now this knife would not push cut at all. I'm not sure if it'll push cut it now. It definitely needs some work. This knife has not been um, sharpened for a very long time. It's it's not quite push cutting yet. So I'll go ahead and continue. Actually, I'm going to go back to the carbine. I think it really does need a lot of work. I might do about 10 more times through here. And as you, you know, you, you want to try to, since the the shape of the blade, you want to try to, as you're going toward the tip with this particular one, I want to sort of tip down a little bit, sort of like that. Let's see. So this thing is really cheap, by the way. This thing only cost about... Twenty to thirty dollars right now. I notice uh, Midway USA is selling this for twenty dollars, which is pretty amazing considering what you get. All right, I'll pull it through here a couple times. Um, the nice thing about these pull-through sharpeners is it doesn't require a lot of skill. A lot of the other sharpeners, which you know will do better, um, also require the user of those sharpeners to develop some skills usually holding the the angle correctly and uh, you you have more motions that you need to do while you're sharpening it so this sort of takes the you know, the skill out of it <laughs> it just uh, you know for people that are not into knives so much they just got one or two knives and they, they just need to keep them sharp and don't want to get into the hole 
um, knife hobby, this is a, you know a good option. So I'm getting hair off there, but um, not quite as good as I want. I might go through here just a couple more times, but you know this is not going to get it as sharp as you know most other systems. Let's talk about serrated knives. All right, here's one of my K bars. Um, both both of these can do serrations, and what you do is you just sort of pull it through. But we'll go ahead and use the middle one here for the serrated edge. And what you do is you just basically do the same motion. And you just sort of run it through just like that. And that sharpens up your serrations. Again, doesn't take much skill. Just sort of do that. And, oh yeah, they're, they're pretty sharp. <laughs> but it started out sharp. So... Let you go ahead and just take a close look. There's your knob. Again, bottom has those rubber feet. So there you go. Well, I really put, picked a bad example of a knife to really show off this product because it was so bad. So I really want to make sure I'm pressing hard enough to begin with and then we'll lighten up and make sure that this thing could end up push cutting through paper really good. Alright. You know, I, I cut wires, really thick wires with this thing and network cabling, you know, RJ45s. Um, Ethernet Cat 5E. Uh, actually, I was cutting some uh, shielded network cable, so that has even more metal in it. So, I, I this knife really does get tortured. Alright, let's make sure that we can do a nice cut there. And you can see it's doing a very good job. When you cut slow like that, it's very hard. Oops. Alright, so it's doing good. Let's see if we're shaving. Yeah. Alright, so now I have no hair <laughs> on my hand. Alright, so it does a, uh, a good job. I'm not going to say it does a, a excellent or outstanding job. It does a good job. It's not going to work as good as the rod systems and um, a person that has a lot, a lot of skill with a stone or those those paper wheels that can really polish an edge. But it gets you a very good edge, you know, that's practical for outside that anybody could do, <laughs> and, you know, and it, it gives you the ability to change angles so you can properly set the right angle on your knife and sharpen it instead of just being stuck with one which is an inherent problem with you know the other ones so take a look at it 20 bucks if you get it for 20 bucks definitely worth it i give this a um eight out of ten you know it's not like super uber you know quality but it, it's it's pretty good and um you know it doesn't get a 10 out of 10 because it doesn't you know make a razor's edge but it it does a very good job so eight out of ten for twenty to thirty dollars so thank you very much for joining me here at the gear obsession channel i really appreciate every fred viewer subscriber and you and i will see you friday Take care.